like the graphicness of it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the colors. I love it because it's so graphic and nice and you always wear something that's cool and new and interesting and it's always, you know, good. Yeah. Where's the most beautiful place you've been? Maybe Venice. It's really nice, really beautiful. We did the show for Chanel there a couple of, se couple of years ago. So nice, and the boats, and it's so romantic, and you just go around on the little, the little bridges, and in between the islands, so nice. How has your fashion style evolved? I mean, how you dress today? Well, when I was first starting, I did not know how to dress very well. I just dressed with whatever the girl next door would wear. Like, I was 16 when I was picked up on the street, and like, I just wore jeans and a sweater, nothing special. And then working with all these fine fabrics and great designers and great design on clothes, you get inspired and you're like, oh, I want that, and you see all these other girls, and stylists wearing great clothing and you're like, oh, I feel like I should wear something like that too, why shouldn't I? And then you get more and more into it and my biggest passion I guess is shoes and bags. <laughs> like a lot of other women. <laughs> As you're looking back on your career, uh, where would you like to go now? Oslo. <laughs> I don't know. I would like to go back to Norway. It's a beautiful place. What do you miss from Norway the most? My family. My friends. But apart from people, I miss the nature, I miss the way of living. People work from 8 to 4 and then they're done. They go home, they do their thing. It's great. <laughs> Anything you can do for the environment? Recycle. Everyone should recycle. I mean, everyone can do little things. Like, leave your car if you don't have to drive. Or, uh, yeah, recycle, like I said. And don't throw garbage on the street. Everyone can do little things. If you could do anything to contribute to peace, in the world, what would it be? I would probably, I don't know, work for, for CARE, you know, CARE, the organization who helps women, help help women get their own lives and yeah, help them create a life for them and their children because, and like give them, don't give them just money because then they don't know what to do with it, but give them a goat and, I mean, give them money too, but, you know, help, work in an organization like that, I think I would like, like to do. Or, or Doctors Without Borders. I don't know what you could do to help world peace, honestly. It's, you have to start somewhere, because you can't just do it overnight. I am. I'm actually at the moment reading um, A Year in the Merde. Yes, it's about this English guy who moves to Paris for a job for one year. And it's how he sees, like how Englishmen, or him though, then, sees the Parisians. And very exaggerated, and it's very funny. And I recognize everything, it's like how they don't really speak French to you and um, like it's dog shit everywhere in the street. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, he's really laughing. I'm, I'm like laughing and feeling what he's doing, although he ex exaggerates everything very much so.
I love, always love a lip. Yeah, this is strong. It's like 10 layers of lipstick, <laughs> different colors to make that one cherry. Yeah. In private, cause each time I see you, I break down it. What was one of your most memorable shoots? I have many, but high up on the list is the, the one I did with Cats, with Miles Aldridge for, for Italian Vogue. The kittens were so cute, and we were shooting in Normandy, I think, outside of Paris for two days. The cats were everywhere. We tried to, like, they had their teachers or whatever there. It was nice. And then also we went to for German Vogue I did with Karl Lagerfeld up in Riegen. It was so beautiful. Really nice scenery. The pictures are one of my favorites, that pictures that came out of there. It was with Tony Garn. I love the hair. I love a wave. I, I don't have it naturally. It's always very straight when I wake up, so that gives a little bit. 